Well, welcome back. You know, lately many people have been turning to nature to find some peace in all of this craziness around us. As we mark the 50th anniversary of Earth Day today, it's perfect time to reflect on how we can keep our planet clean. That's right. And of course, helping the planet means we are helping each other. The Nature Conservancy in Texas program director Jaime Gonzalez is here with more on how we can mark the occasion and also participate at home. Jaime, welcome to the show. Thanks for your time. Let's uh, let's flash back to 1970 when Earth Day really started. And I think it's really interesting. I didn't realize that with Earth Day, this really sparked the conversation about humans' impact on the environment and eventually led to the creation of the EPA. That's right. So uh, back in 1970, about 20 million people mobilized on the first Earth Day. Uh, many of them were students, and they mobilized uh, to uh, try to get laws for cleaner air and cleaner water and to make sure that uh, we had a healthy environment for humans and, and, and also to make sure that the rest of nature was taken care of as well. And you know, so much has changed, I think, over the last 50 years, right? And when we mark this today, I think there were so many um, negative sides of it, pollution. And so in the situation that we're in today, Jaime, it's a really, it's, it's time for all of us, families, to really pause and think about the change and the impact that's possible. I think that that's absolutely right. And, um, and so as we celebrate this 50th Earth Day, I think that we all know that we have lots of work to do. Uh, to make the environment even better. But this is also a big day of celebration. We have had some really big wins with cleaning the waters and air, and uh, we need to celebrate that, that things um, in some ways are moving in the right direction. In some places, it's still challenging. And we also need to, uh, um, and I think a lot of people recognizing it during this time period, really lean on nature for stress relief, for mental health care, for physical well being and just um, enjoy the earth um, and those moments that it gives us. Yeah, and it seems like we can all agree on, on the fact that the next generation, our children, our grandchildren, they all deserve clean air, clean water. Those are basics, right? Let's talk a little bit about the City Nature Challenge. Jaime, I understand this is happening in 150 cities around the world, and Houston is one of them, and this is something that every single one of us can participate in. That's right. Uh, the City Nature Challenge is a really fun um, activity for families or individuals during this time because you can do it very safely uh, by abiding by social distancing um, guidelines. Um, it's done using an app called iNaturalist and you can download that for Apple or for Android. And what you do is you become a citizen scientist. So you go out and you observe and record species uh, that are living in and around your house or your neighborhood within walking distance uh, during a time period from April 24th to the 27th. And what you do is you get to know your wild neighbors a little bit better, but you also add to the science of what we're learning about all these wild creatures. So you can do good for the planet by becoming a scientist for a few days or even a day, and you can also have a great distraction at this time. I think that that's so true, Jaime, and this is a great homeschool lesson as well to, to involve the kids in because even in just my neighborhood, we're now hearing our owls. We have a lot of owls in this neighborhood and we'll be out at night or the kids will be on their bike and they say, what's, is that a woodpecker? So I feel like everybody is so much more in tune to what's going on around them and what's here. I think that's a great point. I think that as the city has gotten a little bit quieter with human activity, we're getting to see and hear from species that are always here, but they're a little bit muffled. I also think that people are really gonna be excited to see what lives in their neighborhood. If you go to inaturalist.org um, and just go to the explore area and type in your neighborhood or your city or your town, you can see everything that other citizen scientists have already recorded. Here in Harris County, we've had over 200,000 observations. And uh, in the region, we have everything from bald eagles to bottlenose dolphins. and you can see how wild this region is, but because this is a global challenge, you can also see what they're finding in, you know, South Africa in terms of elephants and rhinos and things like that, or you can go over to Asia, or you can pop around the world because there are so many cities um, doing this city nature challenge. So I would encourage you to search uh, Texas City Nature Challenge 
It'll take you to a page that will give you all the information that you need to uh, do it safely and to have a great time and to use it as a learning resource for all the parents that are homeschooling right now. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. And it is so true that this region of the country, this part of the world has such rich biodiversity. Jaime, talk to us about the virtual lecture that the Nature Conservancy is doing tonight along with a few uh, partners. That's right, we're doing a virtual um, uh, lecture with the Houston Museum of Natural Science as our partners, proud to do that. Um, and the focus of the event is to talk about Houston's biodiversity. And when I say Houston in this case, it's regional. Um, and to talk about the role of citizen scientists in helping those of us who get paid to do this in doing this work and making sure that our native plants and animals have a future alongside of us because their health uh, helps to determine our health as well. It's all interconnected as we're celebrating Earth Day. So we want people to learn a little bit about our biodiversity and our history here and how they can get involved as citizen scientists in different ways using technology like smartphones to help wildlife and other local creatures. And this is simply by doing this on the app, is that right? That's right, so if you download that iNaturalist app, uh, you can start uh, putting things up today, but it'll count for the City Nature Challenge between April 24th and 27th. And uh, we highly encourage you to do that. If you wanna learn more about the lecture, by the way, we encourage you to visit uh, Facebook and go to the uh, Nature Conservancy in Texas's Facebook page. And it's under the events with registration uh, details. So go ahead and pop over to Facebook and check us out there. Well, Jaime Gonzalez with the Nature Conservancy and the Texas Program Director. We appreciate your thoughts. Happy Earth Day. Thanks for joining us today with all of this great information. And by the way, that free virtual lecture that Jaime was talking about is happening tonight at 630. Head on over to register on their Facebook page. We also have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv.